What is going on, Gamble with Dallas? We are here with episode three of our Jets franchise. Um, last episode, we took a fat L to the Buffalo Bills, but this episode, we got a new opponent, new game. We're taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Um, you guys didn't give me too many moves to make. I know you, uh, someone said maybe we should go out and get receivers. Uh, one move that we did have, not even a move, but for realism purposes, we made Paul Kaepernick a punter. Um, because he's not he, he's not playing in the league and he was actually on the Broncos when I did it so I mean obviously no no new lineup adjustments but I do want to do is I want to get uh, Ty Johnson I want to get Ty Johnson and um, well Michael P Ryan I want to get them some more touches this game especially because they're rookie young and there's no reason I should be force feeding the Frank Gore because I mean it's not, we're not gonna win anyway Wesco I like Wesco I like Wesco. Um, but yeah, if you guys got any moves you think we should make, um, let me know. I, I mean, this team, I, I, honestly, we're probably going to have to middle up through a draft. I don't see this team really going to trade anybody. Any assets, they could pro I'd probably see them getting rid of um, Desir because he's a little bit on the older side, 29. Could probably get some value out of him. For the most part, most of these guys would probably end up staying. Um, all these guys are pretty young and I mean you might see them try to get rid of Jamison Crowder he's he's still only 27 I thought he was a little older than that so yeah now he's probably not going anywhere Crowder's here to stay um, yeah there's no real assets that people would want to trade for um, but if you think there's some young people we should bring in definitely let me know um, but other than that let's go ahead and hop into our week two matchup firstly um, we are going to go ahead and sim we're gonna go ahead and send the training for the week and see if we get any player upgrades. I don't know if I should play this training. I probably should, huh? Just make them progress as fast as possible. Makai Becton, Denzel Mims, and Ashton Davis. I still have not gone and learned names, so bear with me on that. Hey, let's go. Wesco's gonna get an upgrade. Go ahead and give him possession. Yo, does Wesco have a face scan? Why does that look so good? They're like, yeah, let's get Wesco. We got, but both of our tight ends are gonna get upgrades here. Christian Hernan, the fourth. Um, he was involved a little bit last week, not too much. He's gonna get a nice little upgrade, actually. Let me see, what did he do last week? I can't remember his stats specifically. He had one reception, six yards, so he pretty much did nothing. Anywho, uh, let's get into this game. I will see y'all in the match. Boom. All right, we are here in week two. We are home. Taking on the 49ers. We're going to go ahead and skip all this intro. Crap, because it doesn't matter. Uh, I really, it's, I don't know what the direction of, like, obviously I want to win. But do I really want to win? I don't want to tank, though, because who wants to just see me lose? I'm going to try to win the games, but, like, obviously it should be difficult to win in the first place, you know? That's the point here. Anywho, we're going to get the ball first. Sam Darnold's coming back out here last week. He put up two interceptions, two touchdowns. Three interceptions, two touchdowns, 220 yards, 18 for 32. Not very good, but a Sam Darnold-esque game. All right. We'll uh, hand it off to Big Frank Gore at the middle here. See what he can do. This 49ers defense is nasty. Going to get tackled there. Pretty good game. Gain of seven. We're going to go play action here to Sam Darnold. Ah! Ooh! Fred Warner easily could have picked that off. Not a great throw. Safety blitz. I felt the pressure that time. I, I'm not going to lie. We hand it off to the fullback. We're going to hand it off to Wesco and trust Wesco can get us a few inches here. I mean, it's early in the season. You got to go get a team like this. Wesco's going to get the first down. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was terribly unrealistic there. We're going to go ahead and hand it off to Wesco again. See if he can make us a manageable second down. Oh, man. The tackle there by Jones. Let's go two rushes, eight yards. We're going to go play action. We're looking at Ryan Griffin down the field. You got Ryan Griffin wide open. One man to beat. Richard Sherman, one of the best tackling quarterbacks in the league. But Ryan Griffin, a big connection down the field there. Let's go. We're going to hand it off to Frank Gore one more time. Cut it back up. Cut it outside. Another good run there. Seven yards. Frank Gore's averaging seven yards a carry right now. 
Not surprising, man. He's been in the league for 20 years. Frank Gore's going to get the rush. He has to beat one man outside. He gets the break and t broken tackle, but he's not going to be able to get in the end zone. <sighs> Jets get down the field, but we're not going to be able to punch in the end zone. We're going to go ahead and take our three here. Frank Gore. Can't bring it outside. So, yeah, we'll definitely be looking to get a running back in the draft along with just about every other position. But we're going to go up 3-0. So, there you go. That's something. Jets have a lead. Let's send the heat here. Let's send, ah, do I want to send the heat here? We gotta make a. We gotta make a make a, a quick decision. We gotta make a make a quick decision here. No, uh, Brian Poole make the. Brian Poole got beat, and the dude was right in front of him. Our number one cornerback, Brian Poole, gets beat there. For a gain of twenty, Quentin Wilson makes the tackle. Yeah, these, these corners are definitely a question mark. Brian Cashman had a good week last week. We got people open in the flats. I, it's, it's so impossible to tackle CPU, bro. We got five out here. Frank Gore makes the catch. So he is definitely... Uh, we are going to punt it away. We just need we just need more of a burst of speed, which is why I said I was gonna use some my use other running backs more. And I just have not. Can you hit him? Let's go, big hit there. Let's go ahead and send the heat here. I feel like he's running, and that's gonna be the end of the quarter. New York Jets have two passing yards. Did I just say two passing yards or two rushing yards? I'm not sure. He has no one open, but we have no pass protection. He's going to throw it away. I mean, we have no pass rush. They're making some audibles at the line. Could be a running play. Or a pass with Watson Coleman. Jordan Reed makes the catch. He beats Dazeer. I don't know, man. We, we got to find some way to get some stops here. Using Marcus May here. Watching Tevin Coleman. He's going to hand it off. Get in there. Took the safety out of the play. Tevin Coleman gets an easy touchdown. I mean that that 49ers run def run running is is not easy <laughs> to stop. Jesus Christ. Yeah, look that milestone totally makes sense. Chris Hogan's been in the league for like 10 years, and his his goal is to get his first career catch. Come on, game. We got we got circle wide. Darnold's gonna take off running. He has speed. Get down. Darnold's gonna get a gain of 15. I mean, okay. Got a question for you guys. Question, question for the. If we do keep Darnold, right? I mean, if we do go get a new quarterback, like, is Darnold just gonna be our backup? Do we try to ship Darnold? How does that work? We're gonna go short here. Frank Gore. He's gonna get us a gain of about five. We're gonna look at Crowder here. Ah, they're coming! Ah! The Quisky Tart. They blitzed everybody. And we're going to have to punt again. See if we can at least pin them deep. Force them to go to the field. It's going to be a decent punt there. That's going to be a great punt, actually. Ugh. That might be the... You know, I mean, hey, that's our season highlight right now, so far. Our only season highlight so far. We're going to use uh, Pat. Come on, get some pass rush. There you go, guys. And we're going to force a punt there on third and six. Nick Mullins, 8 4 11. Let's go ahead and try to block this. Hopefully, we don't rough the kicker because that does happen sometimes. You know, I'm going to actually use the person blocking. Okay, we're not going to be able to get there. Let's go. Let's go, Gidry. Make one man miss. Rip. I got to get him out. He, he has, like, he's not supposed to be there. That's my fault. Get Hogan on a, on a slow drag. We got Hernan. Oh, he. Oh, we almost. Frank Gore almost bailed us out. We're kind of. We're kind of bottled right now. This 49ers defense is making me see ghosts in um in tackles right now. Good tackle there. Finally, we we get something in the backfield by Quinnen Williams. First tackle of the game. That's going to send us to halftime. Uh, if we take a look at this halftime board, I'm pretty sure they're killing us at just about everything. Um, one bright side, we have no turnovers yet. One downside is we really have... Oh, we have we have more rushing yards. Um, but we have less points. So that's what really matters. 
And we're going to be kicking the ball off first. Here we go. First and 10. We're going to press everybody up just in case of the run. Brian Cashman's going to make the tackle there. Let's press up. Let's press up. Let's press up. Let's press up. Come on, Marcus. There you go. That's how you do it. There you go. Pat's going to get his sack. He's also going to complete his goal. That's why you got to send the pressure there. All right. That's going to hold him to a field goal. Still keeps us in this game. Hey, make sure you guys drink a ton of water, bro. I am actually so dehydrated right now. <sighs> Keep the jug on deck. Pause. No, I'm trying to say. All right, here we go. We got Chris Hogan over the middle. That's going to be a crap. Let's go ahead and hand it off to Ty Johnson. I feel like he can get outside. I know it's to Richard's side, but we can somehow block Richard Sherman, which we do. We can get out there. Come on. Fred wanted to beat. Not going to be able to beat him to the edge, but we do get the first down. Ty, Ty Johnson. We just, I don't know. That 49's defense, they they just, they're really good. We're going to try her nine. He makes the catch. That's a touchdown. Christopher Hernan, the fourth. 31 yard receiving touchdown. Showing why he's the number one tight end. That's a good catch of traffic. A good throw from Darnold. I mean, Darnold's not making any mistakes. I have no complaints with Darnold this game. I, I mean, our receiver, we, he just has no help right now. 10 plays, 77 yards, 4, four minutes and 3 seconds. That's a good drive there. Now we got to get a stop. Now we got to get a stop. Uh, uh I, I really don't like this play. I, I really don't even understand the point of having this. Legal man downfield, and that's going to be picked off. Jamison Crowder throws an interception. I don't know what Adam Gates is doing out there. That, that has to be the worst call of the season. They decline it, and that just gives the ball back to the 49ers. Jamison Crowder throws the first interception. Of this game, first turnover this game. Um, very questionable play call there. He's gonna go to the flats to Telvin, and he just sheds the tack. He sheds two tack. We gotta tackle him. Position, people, the blocks there. We are going to get about ten yards on that return. You got Frank Gore there in that seam. You like that Frank Gore out. You got Wesco under, hurting underneath. He drops it. Big hit from Fred Fred Warner. Darnold, six in completions, 126 yards, one touchdown. And we are punting again. This is man's, what, fourth punt of the game? You have to assume they're going to be handed. Nope. Uh, Pat's going to get a big hit there. Nick Mullins, five for 18, 169 yards, one touchdown. Pretty similar game to Darnold. Just, I mean, his some he has a running game that stepped up. We're gonna let Pat get the tackle there. Kevin Coleman, 16 rushes, 101 yards, one touchdown. That's been the difference here. All right, let's go. Another big third down. Can we get a stop? Our defense has been able to uh, get off the field on the last few third downs. So let's see if they can do it one more time. Give their offense a chance. Go! Pat's gonna get the swat there, and that is going to force them to punt. Good job, bud. Okay, Jets defense is stepping up right now. It's just we gotta, we have to move the ball. It's gonna be a great punt, putting us at the five yard line, the seven. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make the adjustment to put Tyler Ty Johnson in over Frank Gore. We just need more speed here in this. Uh... All right, Ty Johnson in. Risky play action here, but if we can get it, Ty Jackson with some open field. Oh, my God. That wasn't a bad throw. Kiko Alonso gets his second interception of the game. And that might be the one to put this game out of reach. That was not a bad throw. The play was open. It was just a good read by Kiko. I, I'm not even mad. They're going for it? They are going for it. All right, close it up. They're getting a little disrespectful here. Oh, my God. Does he get the pick? Oh my god, let's go.
He's going to get hawked by Tevin, isn't he? Tevin's going to hawk him down. But Desir gets our first pick of the season. And that was a very clutch one, too. All right, here we go. He's tired, but you got you to gotta fight through the pain, Tyler. Not his name. We got a man open in the back. Rashad Perryman's going to get the touchdown. Sam Darnold second pass and touchdown on the day. Okay. We have hope. Jets have hope. All right, here we go. Game's going to come down to this this um this one right here. Good tackle. Good tackle back there. Um we're going to go ahead and use the timeout. We're going to use the timeout. Third and 14. Are they are they pass? They have to pass, right? We're going to go ahead and use Pat. They're going to run it. I don't think he's going to get the first down. Huge stop there. We're going to go ahead and use another timeout. And we're going to get the ball with a minute and 40 seconds left. Hey, can Darnold do it? Two-minute two minute drill? I have faith in Darnold. These are really big for me, whether or not Sam Darnold's the future of this team. Obviously, I'm not getting like he's the future. I mean, he's like he's the quarterback right now. Ah, you, if you get past that one defender, Gizri, we are. There can't. Uh, we, mm, do we use the time? How much? How much clock run off? A little bit of clock run off. Not terrible. I see him over the middle. Rashad Perryman. Rashad Perryman. He's Richard Sherman. That could very well be the game. Field goal here. Oh my God, Rashad Marion sick. 65-yard touchdown for the win, potentially? Not going to be able to get it to the end zone. We just got to get it on the ground. Get it on the ground. The Jets have won. Nick Mullins finished the game 18 for 25, 190 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Tevin Coleman was definitely their offense, but Darnold did it. Darnold did it. Rashad Perryman with the Rashad Perryman. This year. All clutch plays. Wow. We are going to take a quick look at statistics. All right. Uh, we'll just look at Jets for now. Sam Darnold, a 114 passer rating, 17 for 26, 224 yards, 65% completion, three touchdowns, one pick. I think that's the big one here. Three touchdowns, one pick. Um, you go to rushing. Frank Gore averaged 2.8 yards a rush. Meanwhile, Ty Johnson, 7.2. Uh, but we combined for a good amount of rushing yards. West Coast still did his thing. One broken tackle each. No 20-yard rushes yet. We'll get there. Receiving, Rashad Perryman. Three clutch receptions. Two of them were touchdowns. 72 yards receiving. Jamison Crowder, a clutch, a clutch reception. They're on fourth and 20. Um, so he's going to go three for 39. You got to get him involved a little bit more. Chris Hogan didn't really do much. Wesco didn't really. I mean, he had, had, had that one big reception. For the most part, it was pretty much shared out. Frank Gore got a lot of receptions. He just didn't really do much. Um, no running after the catch. Wowzers. Block, and we did give up a few sacks. George Font and Greg Van Orten. Defensively, Cashman, 13, sack, 13 total tackles. I wouldn't be surprised if he's leading the league in tackles. Patrick, doing well. Few tackles for loss, a sack there. Quentin Nelson, he's gonna get a, a, a sack and a half. Couple tackle, a tackle for loss, couple tackles. But Pierre Desir, Pierre Desir, free agent signing. Gonna get a clutch pick. I mean, that probably was the momentum shift we needed. Um, nasty. Punting, Brandon Mann. Yeah, this dude's a beast, bro. This dude is a beast, bro. Kick return, Javelin, Gidry, not much on the day. Um, we are going to go I'm back out. We're going to go ahead and do the um, player upgrades, see what they got. And then we are done for today. So we're going to have CJ Mosley here still. Not going to break, right? All right, CJ Mosley. Oh, God, he's out for the season. We can't even trade him. He's done. Yikes, that's rough. CJ Mosley, we're going to go ahead and give him Phil General. Um, let's take a look at his contract, actually, because that's kind of a big deal. If he's not, is he off the books after this season? No. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, CJ Mosley might be on the move this offseason for uh, maybe a pick or something. Leo, Kalamaganti, Tomini, Bombity, Bombity, Bombity. Cool, cool, cool. Go ahead and take that pick, bro. Pick. You're going to get a little upgrade there. And your Jets are week two winners over the 49ers. Wow. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. Um, it's been real. It's been cool. Definitely give me some suggestions on some of the players you got you want us to go get. Or if not, I'm just continue to push it on, push it on until we do. So I'll see you guys next video. We'll be taking on the Colts. Um, it'll be lit. It'll be litty. All right, I'm out. Dab. Ah.